What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash Show. welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of WWE's Biggest Issue. This week's episode is going to be very intriguing because with the fallout from Survivor Series last night, we now move forward to the, to the new year with WWE Day 1. So now the question remains, what should happen on WWE Day 1? So... WWE Day 1 will be the the first pay-per-view ah, so, ah sorry um will be the first pay-per-view of 2022 and if you guys notice um I've been talking weird my teeth my two front teeth ended up getting split for some reason so I do apologize um if my F's and my S's are kind of weird look or sound weird that's why. It's perfectly normal for me. Anyway, going off topic. Um, so, WWE Day 1 will take place January 1st. Yeah, Jan January 1st in Atlanta, Georgia. And with the fallout from Survivor Series last night, which if you guys have not checked out Survivor Series or the result video that I did last night, definitely check out that video. You're not going to believe what transpired. There's a lot that can definitely go wrong with Survivor Series. There's a, there's a lot that can go wrong with WWE Day 1. Obviously, we know that, that we did not get to see The Rock uh, uh, show up at Survivor Series, uh, which was... Very unfortunate. There were rumors that he was going to show up at Survivor Series, and that did not happen. So, if you look at if you look at everything that had transpired, you know, at Survivor Series, where we saw, you know, Becky Lynch, you know, and Charlotte Flair duke it out, you know, Roman Reigns and Big E, you know, going at it. I think. After last night, and I did mention this on, on Twitter, that Big E, in my opinion, is on the same level as Roman Reigns. I know I know some people are going to come and say, oh, oh, all this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. But when you get right down, but when you get right down to it, Big E proved that he is on that level. And I'm... Actually, honestly, despite the loss, I'm actually happy for, for Big E because he proved that he can hang with, with, with a guy like Roman Reigns. But with that being said, in, in my opinion, these are some of the things that we need to see happen at WWE Day 1. Starting, obviously, with the, obviously with the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns has been champion for well over for well over a year, 449 days, which is incredible. Incredible. And with the rumors of Brock Lesnar's suspension being lifted, and with the rumors of The Rock potentially coming back, one has to wonder what needs to happen. The answer? Make the match a triple threat. Roman Reigns... Brock Lesnar, The Rock, triple threat for the Universal Championship at WWE Day 1. Why? It's simple. It's very simple. There have only been a few superstars on SmackDown that Roman Reigns has beat on his own. There was... Ooh, excuse me. There was Montez Ford. There was John Cena... There was Rey Mysterio and Big E. Those are the only four that he... Oh, and also Jey Uso. I, I, I almost forgot. And Jey Uso. The first time around. The second time, he had to use Jimmy Uso. He had to attack Jimmy Uso to force Jey to, in other words, I quit. But those are the only five superstars that Roman Reigns has beat on his own. Everyone else, 
the Usos have, have gotten involved and Roman Reigns has retained. This would be a match that Roman would need to win on his own. Because if the Usos get involved, this proves that Roman Reigns cannot win a match on his own. Other than uh, other than those five, the, he would not be able to win on his own. Because he's going up against his own cousin, who is a ten who is a 10-time world champion and a, and up against a guy who is in who's own, who's damn near on that level in Brock Lesnar who's been world champion 8 times 5 WWE titles, 3 universal titles and Brock Lesnar is the only 3-time universal champion in history. So with that being said, that would be so with that being said, the big question is do we need this match? Absolutely. We need to see this matchup or or if the rumors end up being bullshit and we don't see The Rock, then yes, maybe a rematch from Crown Jewel could very may well be in the works between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. That right there would be that match right that would be money. A money match right there in my personal opinion. I know that that some people are going to comment and say, you know, that a guy that that you know that a guy like Jeff Hardy or a guy like King Woods, you know, would be you know would benefit to face, you know, to face Roman for for the universal title, but let's be real here, but let's be let's be real here. King Woods King Woods he's mentioned it before before multiple times that he only cares about the tag team titles, which, with Kofi now injured, I really don't... It's hard to say whether or not Woods will get that title shot, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. But as far as WWE Day 1, definitely Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Moving on into the women's division, or actually, rather, moving into the WWE title... Um, It's kind of hard to say who would be the perfect candidate to face Big E for for the WWE title. I think honestly, I, I think if there were two superstars who I would who I would love to see get that get that title shot, hands down it would have to be Damian Priest and. And Seth Rollins, and Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens. I I, I know I said two, but three. Definitely those three. Um, Damian Priest, obviously, given the fact that he's the current he's the current United States champion, a guy like him who is more of a striker, going up against a guy who got like Biggie, who's more of a powerhouse, that could be that that could be a really good matchup. Already, already we're getting we're getting Seth Rollins versus Big E, but we don't know exactly when we're gonna get that match. So my assumption is that because that Big E be, be, is that if you guys remember, Seth Rollins actually defeated Kevin Owens, Rey Mysterio, and Finn Balor in a ladder match where the winner would face Big E for for the WWE title at a future date. Seth Rollins still has that, so. Odds are, knowing Seth Rollins, he's going to select WWE Day 1. So, obviously, that match that match is is pretty much just set in stone. But as far as, like, going into WWE Day 1, definitely someone like Damian Priest, maybe even also uh, Kevin Owens as well. I know that Owens has been um, trying to prove that he's... Still the same man that we all know and love from the last from the last couple of years. Um, nowadays, I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm I'm not so sure after what happened last night. I'm not so sure now, because if you guys did not watch Survivor Series last night, Kevin Owens actually walked out on Team Raw, and ironically enough, 
you could say it's karma because Seth Rollins last year as as Survivor Series did the exact same thing because both men were on SmackDown that time and Seth Rollins sacrificed himself for the greater good. Kevin Owens pretty much did the exact same thing and Raw actually won that one which was kind of kind of uh kind of funny if I say so myself. That being said, that being said, Kevin Owens versus Big E for for the WWE title would be a really good matchup for Big E for two reasons. Number 1, number 1 is the fact that Kevin Owens is a former Universal Champion and and he's actually one of the and he's actually the the third longest reigning Universal Champion in history. So that says a lot. That says a lot about Kevin Owens. But not only that, if you guys remember in 2019 when Kofi became WWE Champion, Kevin Owens uh, turned his back on both Woods and Kofi, and that pissed off Big E. So you know, so we know that we know that there's going to be at the, we all know that there is animosity still from that from that time. So that being said, so that being said. That a, a matchup like that, Kevin Owens versus Big E, would really would really help Big E out going into his match with Seth Rollins at WWE Day One. If WWE decides to take that route, if they take that route, that would probably be a smart decision because if they were to take the route of of Seth Rollins versus Big E. And then go into WWE Day One and make it Kevin Owens versus Big E. That would that it 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 wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. It would make even more sense to put Rollins and E onto the marquee of the pay per view. Why? Because Seth Rollins has won so many championships on pay per view stages. Such as WrestleMania, if you guys remember, he became WWE Champion via Money in the Bank at WrestleMania in Santa Clara, just up the road from where I live right now. You know, um, you know, WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans. You know, he became he became Intercontinental Champion. He's won a lot of championships on you know in you know on big stage of pay per views. It would it would only make sense to put. Big E versus Seth Rollins on the card for WWE Day One. So honestly, it but although it is still hard to, it's still a little too early to say how they would go with that, how they would go about with the WWE title now that Survivor Series is done. But I feel like that should be the way to go in my in my personal opinion. Now, as far as the women's division goes. Charlotte and Becky last night, they just, I'm a, you, if you guys watch Survivor Series, you guys know, you guys know what's up, but if you guys did not watch, and you guys have yet to see the, my result video from last night, definitely check it out, but, spoiler, they beat the hell out of each other, so, we now know that, that, Becky Lynch will, will be facing Liv Morgan for the Raw Women's Title at some point, which, Odds are we may end up seeing that one on Raw, maybe even at WWE Day One, which is possible. Which is possible. But knowing Charlotte Flair, she's gonna want to put the title, put her title on the line at WWE Day One. But against who? There's a long list of superstars on on the SmackDown roster who would be more than happy to face to face her for the title. Shotzi would be another would be one. Shayna Baszler would be a, re a really good matchup for Charlotte. Maybe even Sasha Banks. I know we've seen that multiple times, but people forget they were the first two women to step inside Hell in a Cell and those two kicked ass that night. That night. And the funny thing is, is that they were on Raw at that at that point. So 
maybe we could see the rivalry happen again. Uh, Shotzi would be another good one I, I mentioned. Uh, uh, Natalia, another another rivalry that Charlotte has. You know, the flares and the hearts. What can you do? What can you do? Um, uh, Tony Storm. I know that I I think this Friday on SmackDown, from from what I've been told, from the rumors that I've heard, apparently we're gonna have Charlotte Flair versus Tony Storm this Friday on SmackDown, which. Honestly, I would love to see a match. That I would love to see see that matchup. So it's hard to say nowadays. It's it, it's it's hard to say. But if there was one person who I would not mind see face Charlotte for the, for the SmackDown Women's Title, hands down, hands down, it has to be it has to be Tony Storm. Has to be Tony Storm. Now, as far as the now, as far as what other matchups I would not mind seeing. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. It's still a little too early. But as far as the tag team titles go for Raw, I would say... I would say RK-Bro and... Hmm. That's kind of hard to say. Um... Definitely the Street Profits. I think uh, Montez Ford and, An and Angel Dawkins would will be a really good matchup for RK Bro, especially after that performance last night. That RKO at the end, absolutely, absolutely insane, absolutely insane. So we're definitely gonna be get getting that matchup. But as far as when, who knows? Only time will tell. Only time will tell, but as far as the Usos go, Roman Reigns is gonna is gonna be livid. He is gonna be pissed when he when he real when he finds out that the Usos lost last night, which I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure he is because um, I mentioned it before in my prediction video that he, and I could be and I might have. I said that even though the Usos are blood, there was always going to be tension between the two, and there was. That matchup, there was too much too much tension within the Usos. That's what gave RK Bro the chance to pick up that victory right off the bat, just like that, which is insane. So, as far as the SmackDown Tag Team Tales go, I would say... Potentially Usos against New Day, I wouldn't mind. I, honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Honestly, I I would take that match, that tag team match, any day because when it comes to the Usos and the New Day, they bring out the best in in out of you know in each other, and truth be told, the Usos are the reason why New Day are eleven time tag team champions is because they pushed each other to the limit. And that's what made the New Day one of the greatest tag teams of all time, as are the Usos. So, we could see see that matchup again. We could even also see... Um, ooh, excuse me. We can e even also see the Usos against Los Lotarios, um, or against or against the Viking Raiders, or even perhaps against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Maybe even Happy Corbin and Madcap Moss. The possibilities are endless in the tag team division, but but number one in my opinion, Usos and New Day. Um, but again, but now again, as far as like the rest of the card, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to to predict what we could see at WWE Day One. These are just my thoughts on. What I feel like should happen at WWE, WWE Day One, as, as far as the title man, as, as far as the titles go, but as far as like the other rivalries go, Shotzi and, and Tony and and Sasha Banks needs to happen yet again. Those two just hate each other, so we we could we could possibly see that match at WWE Day One. We could see um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Um, oh my god. Um, 
We can see the 24-7 title be defended, which literally gets defended almost every single week. Um, but again, again, the possibilities are endless, but I want your thoughts. This brings me to the question of the day. What match? What is the number one match that you guys want to see at WWE Day 1? Let me know in the comments below, and that is going to do it for this episode of WWE's Biggest Issue. Hopefully you, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue, which get posted, which gets posted every Monday. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All three of my links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.